welcome back to my channel. It's hard to be here. And today we are filming in Woodstock. We are getting ready for some Africa burn vibes. So stay tuned, watch this space and you know, enjoy the video. <laughs> Hey, mister. Oh, uh, hello. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out is this must look exactly as it is in the shot. Yeah? And is that so? I got a couple of questions for you. I am from uh, the Cape Town German magazine and we have uh, five questions. Would you want to play with my fable? Yes. So, have you painted before in your life? I have, yes, indeed. Um, as a kid, when I was six and five, my mom took me to art school. It was after my uh, primary school. So, yeah, I'm very artistic in, in here. In so my soul. You got, you got, good, you got the, the good talent. Uh, so where are you today? I am here at Woodstock in Cape Town at Studios and we are doing a lot of crazy stuff. We are painting, we are talking to my mic Mika and we have the most amazing people here. We are one family. One family. Thank you so much. One more question. How old are you and where are you initially from? I am from Riga, Latvia. And I am 31 year old adult man. Gorgeous being. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> since before inception uh, I helped Sean build one of the first one of the first uh, structures that he came up with um, I have now moved more into a, a musical role and obviously a video 
and I'm really excited to see it happen next year. I've been waiting for three years. Yeah. And we're gonna finish the panels today. Indeed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome back. We're now in the booth in here with some DJ performance. Check this out. <laughs> you can wash it. So these are the hands. <laughs> Stunning. And what's your name? Sherman. Sherman. Yes. And how long have you been with the project? Um. Well, actually, quite shortly before the burn was supposed to happen. So what's that? Uh, sorry. Um. Wow. March, April. No, February, March, April, May, June, <laughs> July, six months. Six months. That yeah. sounds perfect. Yeah, give me a high five again. A high five. A high five. So, in effect, what's happening now is we're moving the ball, we move across. He's got to form it as it happens, so go slow, there's no need to rush. We're going to move all the trestles first to create workstations in each straight lines. Two behind the DJs, three in front of the DJs. Then we're going to move the panels that are in here now 
across and place them on those workstations. And then we're going to take the sections of the walls that we have and while other people are creating and working, a random, then a panel goes, then a panel goes, and then we put the puzzle together. So let's tell an interesting story with it. Let's put one first and then one on the opposite side, and then group it all comes together like to tell a story. So we've got this section that goes on the back wall, this section goes on the side wall. You need the natural light on this side, so we shouldn't put panels on this side, eh? On this. Okay, so it's the lighting inside, fine. And then we take the section outside and we stack it against that wall. Okay. Can I say something? Yeah. I think that's a great idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if you're asking to do like lots of um, more triangular ones, more optical ones, kind of like a rainbow colory ones. Yeah. And, then, and then we had like a stripe and spot day that was really fun. Amazing. Yeah, and so they've been great. Like well, every time it's a different feeling, a different space, a different need, a different geometry. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Different party. Different trip with every color. A different lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the green. Just, Why green is your favorite? I don't know, because the last time we did a green, yellow, like yellow, like a luminous yellow to green stripe, and then I just kind of fell in love with them. Yeah. I mean, it's stunning. I mean, what's, what's there not to love? Yeah. And, uh, thank you. <laughs> What's your name and how long have you been with the project? Uh, my name is Alex and I just joined today. Um, I'm yeah. Emily and we're here with the DJ. Yeah, full disclosure, we just came yeah. here to... Disclaimer. Disclaimer. We came here to get a bath. <laughs> yeah. Sunny. Thank you. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> but we big supporters. Yeah, we're now in the crew. Oh, yes. I love you girls. Committed. Committed. Thank you.
how long have you been DJing? I've been DJing for sure, like four or five years now. Five yeah. years. Are yeah. you enjoying it? Am I enjoying it? It's my freaking, my soul food. <laughs> Survival. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you.
Back on the channel, and uh, here we are with uh, Connor. And how long have you been with the project? Um, I've pretty much been with the project from close to the beginning. Um, yeah, before before they were going to go to Bern for the first time, yes. already joined. So it's been like two years, two and a, two and a half years. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, how do you like this Mick uh, named Mika? Mike, Mike the Mika. Mike the Mika. Mike the Mika. Mike the Mika. Oh. <laughs> Uh, it's quite a, it's, he's quite a hairy guy, but we, 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 yeah, he's, he's cute. He's got his own, his own thing about him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. And wave, wave to our channel too. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> and here we are with, uh, what's your name? My name's Dean. So you have your own mic. I he, have my own he's mic. He's so cool. He's so cool that he has his own mic. My own mic, And yeah. then, uh, can I speak to your mic? You can speak to my mic. Yeah, let's cross swords. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, what's uh, what is your name? My name is Dean. Yeah. Thank you for watching our channel. And how long have you been with the project? For 300,000 seconds. It's amazing. That's it's so amazing. Long time. I'm full of pain, but you can't see it now. It's the longest time you can ever think in now. Because I mean, yeah. maybe that's all you have left. Yes. <laughs> So serious! Sorry guys, but it must be said because it's so serious. <laughs> oh, it, oh, it's uh, off completely. <laughs> but the conversation. Take two. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. This is your mic. This we, is my mic. We both have mics. <laughs> what's what's your mic's name? Um, Michael. My mic is named Mika. Fluffy. <laughs> Mika, Mika from German is Michael, so it's Michael and Michael. Oh really? <laughs> I went to the cheers, but that would be a bit awkward for us. And uh, what is your name? My name's Karen from South Africa. <laughs> Amazing. And how long have you been with the project? Um, I started out last year, so I wasn't here for the first first time that I was meant to go to Bern, but I didn't start last year. So last I had, like a few months. I don't even know what month it is anymore. And this Amazing. Is lockdown. Yeah, this super virus too is killing us. That's why we're so close to each other. Exactly, and we're gonna oh, survive. No. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Interrupt you guys. <laughs> sure. You've been doing good. How's it? Hello. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to ask you guys a few questions if you mind. Uh, okay. First one would be how long have you been with uh, with the project? Well, I've only well, I started the project in 2018, February 2018 to be specific, and that was the first initial planning, um, drawing up the artwork and the concept of the temple. Then that took about another six months and we started painting the first panels, which you'll see there, that first stack on the left. And then the middle stack is the one that we finished now. panels that are completed to paint. So, yeah, it's been a hectic, crazy idea. And initially when I thought this is a crazy 
And I think I thought, well, then let's do it because if it's not crazy, then. And also, another thing I realized while I was doing this project is that um, if it was easy, everybody would have done it, but it's not easy. <laughs> that's why Sean's doing it. <laughs> that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> I like that, I agree with you completely. Like, because we all think that no, like somebody will do it, but then nobody does it. And then you come and Yeah, you everybody and has and amazing it, ideas, it? but how do you take an amazing idea yeah. and then how do you actually make it happen? How do you exactly. Countless hours of sleepless nights, three, two, three o'clock in the morning, measuring out all this stuff from scratch, working, 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 wow. working, and working, reworking. working, working, reworking, working, rework, paint, repaint, paint, repaint, paint, 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 very perfectionistic person. And an army. Yeah. It takes, we are exactly. representing 18 different countries for this project. We have had people from Switzerland, Germany, Israel, New York, Australia, New Zealand, Vietnam, all of them, all over the world are supporting us. Yeah. Where are you from again? Latvia. Huh? Latvia. Oh, Latvia. Yes. <laughs> I love it, Latvia. Latvia is good. That is that's out of. Sorry, Latvia. <laughs> Thank you. And what what is what is your name? I'm Filoni. Pila. Let me introduce her. She makes. Pila. P H I L A. Thank you. And that's amazing. That's really amazing. <laughs> For the mask. Yeah. But we're not doing these ones, we're doing the other ones. No, it's forever changing. Anyway. Yes, I was wearing the um, black and orange one, it was stunning, absolutely amazing. Yeah, social distancing, eh? Uh, orange is my favorite. Oh, really? Oh, my sons as well. But you know that it's a sign of creativity. Yes, and also, also bright cars. Why all the sparks cars are bright? Because for our human mind, like yeah, for our human mind, when we see a bright approaching color, we actually feel like it's approaching us faster than it actually is. So all the sports cars are bright, not because they can go at 200 or 300 kilometers per hour, but because our human brain thinks that that car is approaching is faster than the grey one. Yes, oh that's a college of colour. Okay, so basically there is a reason why they find uh, hospitals and restrooms green. Because it's a very tranquil colour. And it actually calms you down. So while you're at a doctor's room and you actually really stressed and you work out, you, you, you commonly see green. Many clinics are main hospitals around here. And then obviously red, if you if you McDonald's, it's red, why? Because they want people they want quick conversation, they want a quick turnover of Exactly, so you'll go in, you'll eat, you'll get out. More than we actually want even and need possibly. And faster. And there we go, why we have fast food restaurants already. That's no that's offense here. Yeah. I'm not going to say the American population, but that's why there's, uh, you know, an uh, yeah. issue with um, obesity. Exactly. It is. They, and uh, they love it. They love McDonald's. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody so, loves macadamia butter because it's not, it's like great. It's, it looks like nothing really, but it's the best for you. Exactly. Yeah. And then we've got obviously blue. Blue is. 80% of people love blue. That's a color. Did you know that? 80%? Yes, that's their first choice. Male and female. So, I mean, so these boards obviously tell a whole lot of, you know, it's, it's, it's more than just color. Yes. It's about which colors you use. And also when we look up. And the combination. And also when we look up, we only see blue. Exactly, blue is an, actually, it's one of the most unnatural natural colors, if you think about it. So it's not like, it's not like browns and your, 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 your nature colors and green. Yes. It's, it's almost like, basically only, I mean, the, the ocean and the sky. There is so much blue exactly. and we all love ocean, we love, all love looking exactly. up. And so it's, 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 there's a psychological link. Yes. To people li liking blue. Yeah. And that you actually know a very interesting fact is that 
men actually like pink more than women they just don't know it or they've been conditioned they've been actually they've been taught by their parents pink is for girls and blue is for boys why because actually boys love pink they love pink and that's boys why boys love pink and that's double b bb yes and if they see pink on a female for example or the opposite sex so they feel attracted because they actually love pink but yes being conditioned not to them and, and then pink. and then we say that we are capable and, and girls like blue and what do you think are humans capable of unconditional love what is unconditional exactly define unconditional unconditional is if you say yes i will be with this person no matter what yes i don't think unconditional is possible and then how dogs love us that's unconditional so only dogs love us unconditionally because they don't have preconceived ideas they don't have preconceived feelings yeah i see you we we as humans we're probably capable of it capable of it as infants we maybe we like the idea of it because we love dogs of course who doesn't exactly so the idea and the notion but really would, would you still be with this person if this person cheated on you no so unconditional is impossible yes. the condition is the condition is that yes we're together but i won't be with you if you cheat on me so that's a condition yes. life without our enigmas. We are grey. We are grey without our enigmas. And this is our enigma as we come in this world. Naked. We come into this world naked. And then we pick colors, we meet people, and we color ourselves just the way we want. We are all born naked, and the rest is drag. That's what Drupal says. Do you believe me? I believe you. You are loved. Believe you. Believe that to love lives in your heart. Because you came into this world loved and out of love and you will leave this world with love thank you bye